Hello, beautiful people. I am popping in here with something that I don't, I don't do often. Um, and to actually complete a whole one is probably only the <clears throat> maybe second time I've done it. But I created a little junk journal because I was inspired by Kasha Avery's Advent Calendar um, lessons. She basically prompts. Um, and I thought I'd follow along because I needed something to challenge myself, something to just kind of take my mind of how busy it is right now between work and just the holiday season and with COVID and not being able to go out and enjoy things, being with my family. So it was a good distraction from that. So this is my finished journal. I actually went ahead and I'm not even done with the prompts to be honest with you. Um, but I just couldn't stop creating it. So you can see there's lots of pages in here. And, you know, if I just wanted to take five minutes and put a little bit of paint down on a page, that's what I did. Um, so I created the uh, junk journal. This was a um, folder that with the alcohol ink stencil tutorials that were floating around out there, that's what the background is. So it automatically had a really cool texture. And you can see it peeking out here. And I just collaged on the front and the back um, just to create a kind of funky organic look. And I didn't think about it. I just put paper down where I felt I liked it there. Um, so in the prompts, it was very limited color palette, um, limited supplies. So again, I was trying to challenge myself. And I tend to rely heavily on my stencils and my Posca markers and do the same thing in my art journaling and there's other than what was already on here there's no stenciling and there's very 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 little Posca mark I pulled out my watercolors um, pulled out my graphite pencils and just I was trying to push myself out of my comfort zone because uh, it was hard it was really really hard to not overthink because I, I always have a battle between the left and the right side of my brain and the left side always wants to take control and it, it is a struggle for me so I noticed at the very beginning of the book it was a lot more fluid and organic and I could see the other side of my brain kind of coming through towards the end so I thought that was kind of an interesting progression but I just wanted to take you through my little junk journal and it literally is junk like it's kind of like my scribble journal which is almost done which is right here and look at that lusciousness like I, I can't I love this thing so much and it is just a magazine it was a magazine cut in half um, but it's almost actually full um, and I kind of tried to do the same thing here um, so you see lots of scribbles a lot of collage in random places I pulled out my oil pastels which I don't use that often and I kind of hooked now and now I kind of want was looking last night for some soft pastels. I have pan pastels, but just something about holding that in your hand and smudging it around, I really like that feel. So maybe that will be my Christmas present to myself. Um, so this page and this page and the covers were with what was left on my desk. So I literally took the pieces and parts and I just glued them down. I smudged a little bit of I used some of the alcohol distressed uh, reinkers, um, and I kind of loved that too. So I just smudged some of that color on here. I used my new washi tapes, which I love here. Love that's part of one of them, and I have that throughout here. So it was really fun to actually get to play with that because I hadn't had a chance to play with that. Um, I did create some of the pages of my junk journal from uh, my art fragments book. Uh, this book and I just ripped out some pages of it and that's one of them so you can see back here and it was awesome because I just really had to embellish on top of it and I loved I loved that um, you know the paper is a little bit thinner but I don't mind crinkly anymore and if you start putting gesso and stuff on it it, it held up fairly well um, so I just followed through the prompts and like I said I just kind of kept going um, the papers in here I had on my desk. I just pulled out kind of what I had and put it, it, put it, it, geez, in my junk journal and just did a um, simple pamphlet stitch to attach them to this folder. It was perfect. Now I kind of might want to make another one. 
Um, so you can see lots of scribbles. I uh, my colors were these these blues, some oranges, and some greens. And then I started throwing in some fuchsia in here as well. Um, and you can kind of see the watercolor. It's in that same color palette in the background. Um, and I just scribbled and kind of, I used the background in some cases, like this was a piece of watercolor paper that I had alcohol ink to stencil through. And it created a really amazing contrast. Um, so I utilize that, you know, no sense in overcomplicating the process. But um, here is my one of my new washies, which I love. It's called Eyes, and I, I love the eye piece of it. Um, but you, I just pulled out my collage bag and put down what I, I wanted to do on these pages. Um, So again, I just I scribbled layered colors. This is kind of the color palette that I had in here. This was a little tiny piece of paper that um, got added to my um, junk journal. Here's another piece of my washi that I folded over kind of as a little tab. And I don't know why, but I'm kind of obsessed with collage with people's legs and feet. I just, I think it's the sense of movement. Um, that really kind of draws me in. This one I um, and I'm kind of sad at myself that I didn't add it to other pages but um, I had some of my glass bead gel and I love the texture. You obviously can't feel it um, but I wish now and maybe I'll go back on some of the pages and add some of that because I just I like that textural feel. And it's messy. I get it. But it was fun just putting stuff down literally putting stuff down on paper. This was an old photo that I had that I just folded over on the edge. I like doing that. This was um, from the other book that actually is shipping and hopefully will be delivered next week. Um, so it'll be in my Etsy store, So The Secrets of Leaves. So these are eco dyed prints. Um, and again, I ripped out some of the pages uh, and added it here, and that created like a really cool background. Hey, honestly, you didn't have to do a lot, too. So here's the other side of it, and I just put some oil pastels, and I like those pops of color. There's the washi tape. This is the small, the 10 millimeter, and I used that a lot. I was really obsessed with that in this book. I think it was a small, skinny size. It was just the perfect amount of something. And you can see it's a subtle, it takes on kind of the coloration of the background. But I love it. You don't have to think. Like you just put the tape down and you're done. Like how simple is that? Um, I had done some transparencies with some of the pages in my uh, Art Fragments book. Some paper tape transparencies, and that's I just placed that over this page. Like how how freaking cool is that? More of the washi tape on here. It was really fun to play with all of that. Really have fun. This is something probably more me that you would normally see in my art journal pages, and I think that's where I was trying. I was going back to what I was comfortable with instead of what I was not comfortable with. Um, and I consciously, when I did it, I realized it. Um, so I tried to kind of pull back from that and not do that through these pages. Like this one was super simple because all I did was watercolor. This is again from the Art Fragments book, watercolor it and added some collage and it's done. I really didn't need to do a whole lot. Same with this one. Like I didn't really, this was already on the paper. I added a couple of red scribbles and some tissue paper with this little collage and it was done. But you, it looks like I spent hours on it, right? Lots of collaging, layering, which I could collage for days, I think. And she got kind of hidden, but I kind of like that she's peeking out. And this page, I, I this is an envelope that I have in the book and there's something about that page that I love. It's the softness of the color. I ripped this photo. Um, 
I mean, you can't really see a lot of it, but I really like this, this page a lot. And that's the reverse side. And so that's the other side of the photo. I like, I like this one as well. I was sitting there drinking tea one day um, when I was doing it, so I'm like, oh, that bag is pretty, so I added it. I added it. This is another page that I really like, too. I like the, the color. Um, this is my washi tape on here. I just like the color palette. This is from, the background, again, is from my um, Art Fragments book. I really like doing that. It might um, pull out more, or like I said before, turn that into a journal. This one got pretty messy. That's an old photo I have. I don't know what that person's actually doing. I need to bring out photos. I have so many old vintage photos and just put them in my books. I love that look. So this is the other side of the envelope. So this was another one of those paper tape transfers. And how beautiful is that on this manila colored envelope? Don't really need anything else besides that. Like I called it done. Here's some of my washi tape. That's the abstract one. So it's brighter in color. I love this page too. And this was um, something up and coming for Stencil Girl. Um, where I was using alcohol ink on magazine pages. Um, and I love just the organic, the rip shape of the face. I didn't really do much. I just, that one is so simple, but it, it's so impactful to me. I love it. And that one's pretty messy and colorful. There's more of my washi, but I, lo I love it. Another one I just colored, just added some more oil pastels. This is my Posca. That was where I put Posca. There's another one in here, like this is my Posca marker. And that was it. I try to rely on my oil pastels, and I did pull out my Inktense blocks too, um, and I had a lot of fun with that. This is another nice page. I like that too. This one too. I really love the color palette of that and the bird. I like birds anyway, but that page is nice to me. Same with this one. It's kind of offset and crooked, but I like it. I like it a lot. And this started ripping out, I think, because the paper, it's old vintage music paper. It was so thin and it got so wet because you can see here I added a lot of watercolor to it. So I just reinforced it. I put some of my washi tape here, um, and you know it adds a decorative element, but it just reinforced the page. Um, this is probably again something more familiar with me. Um, so one of the prompts was writing words, but I wanted to make it a little more visible, and I have been dying to collage this cup of soup forever in one of my journal pages. So I figured this is good. Put a little swan in it. Um, the background had a bunch of oil pastels and stuff, so I love this is gouache on top, but I love how the oil pastel resisted it, like it created kind of a really cool look. And I thought this was kind of appropriate for this journal. I am floating away lost in space of my own. I like that. I am floating away lost in a space of my own, because that's what I was trying to do in this. I like this too, so this was uh, something in my collage pile. It was an image transfer on my jelly plate. It's kind of eerie looking in a way. More of my washi. So one of the prompts, she um, collaged down some leaves, and I have these leaves from a smoke bush in my yard. The leaves are beautiful, but I ended up covering them up, because <laughs> that's just the way it goes with some gesso and then I put some of the ink tents and then I started ripping out the parts that weren't really matte medium down and at the end of the day I kinda it's kinda cool huh kinda like that look and this is with the oil pastels on the outside and this was another one I just I ripped the page and I didn't do anything I just glued the page down to the back of this and this is actually a sheet of deli paper 
So it was a little fragile, especially with all the medium on here, but this actually reinforced it a little bit so it's not so flimsy anymore. And I took a baby wipe just to kind of age it and grunge it up a little bit and not make it so magazine looking. And some more of my washi. And this was a sheet of uh, deli paper that I was using in between as I was working and it had some cool marks so I ended up just stapling it onto this paper. I did it for both sides and it just it's cool. It's cool looking. I used it on my table and good to go. And there's more of my washi in the back. And that is my junk journal. So I hope you're having a wonderfully creative week and I will see you around. Bye bye.